Hey everybody, it's Kyle. Just uh, just a heads up, these first two episodes are going to sound real bad. We were trying a new recording technique, and because uh, everyone is in-house for this episode. And um, I kind of fucked up with microphone things were coming out of, so instead of coming out of my really expensive good microphone, everything got recorded by default laptop microphone, and it sounds like ass. But we realized pretty early in the third episode, so I'm real sorry. I kind of fixed things a little bit in post, but... I can only do so much, because Premiere's not a magician. So just bear with it for the first two episodes. Thanks. Hey, Chris, would you bang Jess? What's the likelihood of Morgan to watch one of these episodes? Uh, low? <laughs> Probably. Okay, also a fictional character, so Morgan, don't worry. She's not a real person. Wait, is this Jess? This is Jess. Also... I like the braids. They're cute. Also, depending on how this goes, she may or may not be alive. Would that change your answer? Uh, I no. Would, I would not say sure if she's dead. Good, good decision. Hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Not my idea. Yeah. Also, hey, hey everybody, welcome back to Cabin in the Woods with Kyle, Chris, and Alexandria. Woo! What's up, Alex? I thought we were gone. It's another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Like 127 hours. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's <laughs> private thoughts are my own. So he doesn't do that if you don't fucking go through his phone. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? But she's dating him, I thought. No, uh, yeah, they're a little bit. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Hmm. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the log yard. It's getting tired of all Yeah, this. these guys haven't really seen each other in the last year. You guys go ahead. I'm just going to wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean or just in case she is out. I mean, know them you at know, all. whoever. She was at the thing last time. Well, she's yep. meeting new people, so she was like, you know. Yeah, but she was the one who was insisting that they do the prank. Oh, was it? Yeah. It's weird that she was saying meeting new people. Stop taking all in. It's very nice up there. It's very yeah. Nice. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? So, yeah. Oh, I don't Mike think I like Emily. No. Based off of her face? Based her... off her face. Gosh, she a rusty like bitch face. Pretty. Oh, wait. Oh. Ambitious and active. I thought it said attractive for a second, and I was so like, So wait, did pull... we see Matt before? Yeah, so he was, like, kind of went along Emily with the prank. He brought the camera. Oh, okay. No. And he seemed like he wasn't super into it, but he kind of went along. Where's a bellboy when you need you? You hear what she said? Mm-hmm. Fuck Emily. Fuck Emily. I knew I wouldn't like her. Well, she wants a bellboy. She just hit her over the head right Also, now. you notice that Matt's carrying both bags? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Wow. You know what? Maybe maybe she's not he's not winning her back today. No. Michael. <laughs> you really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods. Spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? Just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Does anyone uh, get the feeling that uh, Mike's a fuckboy? <laughs> I mean, you have to make a decision here, Matt. Are you, uh... Are you threaten Mike or are you going to just welcome him and try to be friends with him? Oh, I want to threaten him. Michael, you got to step off. Heck I'm yeah, you do. Now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not going to tell you again. Understand each other. Damn. I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but 
Yeah, fine. Well, you're being a dick, dude. No, no, no. no, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> so much. I think you find him less charming than I do. Oh, I you know that. He's a fuck boy. Well, he might not be if you make different decisions when you play as him. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Oh. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I don't know what to do. What would you do? What do you think Matt would do? You just threatened Mike because he was in your girl. Um, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're going to protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's going to steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? She's a mean. strong, independent woman who I don't need no man, Alex. They're in the middle of the woods. There's I'm creepy people out there. Come on. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Jeez, you are fucking... Fuck you, Emily. I don't know if I want Matt to be with you anymore. Okay. She's a strong, independent woman who's tired of being mansplained or some shit, Alex. Have a little sympathy for her. Oh my god. Yeah, it's hard going back and forth and being everybody, isn't it? Feel like you have schizophrenia a little bit? No, it's just the fact that he kind of threatened, you know, Mike a little bit. So he's just like, you just gotta see that I just kind of threatened him. I don't want you getting hurt. And she's I, I trying think to get him. Yeah, it's Ashley, the one Chris likes. Oh, oh look, Ashley's a crush on him too. Yeah, but they don't know each other that each other are into each other. Oh. One of them should have the courage to say something. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. They're not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Who? See, I didn't want her going alone. Is it because you were jealous? Were you, you didn't trust your girlfriend? Jesus, look around. No, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise. Yes, you did. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of. Okay. But not like for real. Oh, so my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's all right. It's so bad for her. It's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Do so I want to stir shit up? I don't know. Yeah, make, your own yeah. make your own decision. But yeah. Yeah, it's. Kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. It's gonna be a tough game. Yeah, it is. Make a decision, Alex. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get the it's time to think. Decisions. Yeah, you don't get time to to pick the shit. There's bars and they go fast sometimes. Pick. Pick now, now, now. Good call. No, no really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, not her. Uh, sure. That would never. That's like the worst lying ever. Maybe though. Lie to him. Yeah, to protect his feelings, because he might get the wrong idea. Yeah, that's or even worse. I want them fighting, and then the some right guys idea. Guys, and then I'm down one more person. Hey, you didn't technically down anybody yet. Hey, that doesn't count. No, I know. So far, you've kept everyone alive. Can you lose people before this? Um, I don't know. Have you ever lost anyone before this? No. Oh, I'm awesome at this game. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military? Did she just refer to herself as supple? Yes. Oh, also, they're, um, they're role-playing. It's a little hot. I don't know, when you put it like that. I think they're all the same normal. I can't help it. Nail him, Alex. Oh, well, I'll nail him. Whoa. Brett Dalton, stealing my girl. Brett Dalton is Mr. Steal Your Girl. I just called her a little chickadee. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, nice juke, dude. I forgot what the button was. Had a look. Did they get faster? Hello? Oh yeah, over time? Yeah. They'll give you like half a second sometimes. Hey Mike. Because right now, like, what's the consequence of missing a snowball? Like, not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. What's the consequence of, like, missing, like, an axe or some shit, right? Like, bigger deal. So it kind of gets you used to... The idea. Yeah, yeah. They do a pretty good job of... Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. So in this case, doing nothing is the right thing to do. Like, yeah, they're so just trying to teach you... Yeah. Like, you'd get nothing out of throwing that at a bird. Did you hit the bird when you did no, it? No. But you can hit Mike. You can hit Mike, though. Oh, she missed. Did you not throw it at him? No, no she didn't throw it. I missed. Well, I, I, I ran you were late. I didn't yeah. realize I wasn't watching. Yeah, it's not, this is not going to be a good game for you. So did I go down? Oh, you went down. I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna snowball him? No. I just wanna suck some face. Okay. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> We should get See, up to the lock. I kind of yeah. think they're perfect for each other, though. I enjoy them very like, much. They suck at, both of them. I mean, I could stay out here for uh, much ever, provided I was taking out with you the whole time. Just making out? Ooh. Ooh. I should mention this uh, game, Alex, is M for Mature. Is it actually? Whoa. It's because people die, Kyle. That's why. I mean, they could also get some boning in. It, it's a horror movie. Game. So of course people are gonna. Someone's fight. gonna fuck. If you do your job right. If you want them to. I'll just deny everyone sex. <laughs> this is the abstinence playthrough. Oh, hey, Peter Stormare. So you gonna ask me more weird oh, questions? Oh yeah, that's all he does. He's like a, a psychologist. Or a psychiatrist. I can never remember the difference. In our last session, we established. Fear of things that are dead or undead. Like zombies. Yes, like zombies. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh, Alex, yeah, this I don't is, want to. I'm good. This is free psychology. I'm good, thank you. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Oh, this is the perfect game for me. Yep. I really hope none of them were spiders. I actually don't remember because it wouldn't have been a big deal for me at the time. Oh, this no. is like an equal scare. Yeah, I think we would know which one would be for Chris. How was your flight over, buddy? It's actually pretty good. Give me the flip. I'm not scared of either of these things. Well, with more. Not what would make you more uneasy if you came across it? Yeah. Maybe a snake. I just a little. Yeah, well, it's more dangerous than a rat. Snake, right? yeah, every once in a while, they just show him writing. Like, I love that they just do that shit. Mm. Interesting. Oh, definitely cockroaches. Yeah, I like when they like start going back to the like. Some of the other ones. Yeah, like they they start playing them against each other. Oh, definitely scarecrows. Clowns are. That's a pretty sketchy looking. On <laughs> what is this gore or crows? Gore disgusts I'm okay me. With either. Or crows are scary. I don't have an issue with either of those. Which, which one more? It doesn't mean like in general. Right? You might run into one where you're scared of both, but which one's more? I did forensics, I can deal with dead guts and That's shit. You. So sorry. You're doing very well. I mean, you didn't start on me, but okay. Can we keep doing this? This is actually kind of fun. Yeah. Do you speed up? The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Huh! Did I scare you? Well, no, you didn't. 
Oh, definitely sponges. Well, yeah. You're okay, though, with that? Oh, with that picture, yeah. Yeah, okay. you flip the page. Yeah, you and needles. Yeah. I'm okay with piercings and tattoos, just the... Yeah. Zambies or scarecrows? Scarecrows. Well, I think we both know the answer to this one. You love wolves. I know it says dog, but it's clearly a wolf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I see the, the, the thunderstorm, it just made me think of that uh, the bit in Ted with the Thunder Buddies thing. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Thunder. You can suck my dick. <laughs> so fucking weird. He just he laughs a little. And it's like uh. Yeah, he's a little uneasy. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise. We'll talk again very soon. Say you spiders in this against me, I'm gonna lose my shit. I can't wait. Do they actually? I don't remember. I dude, it would have been such a little thing to me that I won't necessarily remember. Yeah, see, Jess was there. Yeah. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Yeah. Now these people are actual people to you. Yeah. Emily reminds me of Santana from Glee, and not in a good way. <laughs> I got like Santana. But I like her more when she's not a bitch. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my friends back to the annual Black. Oh, dude, I was I was all about Quinn. I really want to spend some quality time with <laughs> every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back, and next to Josh. That's how we met. Oh my god, this crazy story oh, ever. Shit, butterfly effect. Yo. Dude, this is so deep. Pass the vape, Chris. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We got nine hours. And everyone's still alive. Yeah. There's Josh. I mean, can't. They don't count. Oh, they count. Well, we did not There actually is a waking blood. There's not. Not playing the game. No, Peter Stormare even told you. You got a spare million lying Can't around, trust and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left in my other jacket. Is there anyone we haven't met yet? Um, hey, gang. You guys get up Sam, here, no, Chris, I think we got friends from all boys, but uh, hey, Emily, Matt, can't get everything. Josh, yeah. Ashley, That's all wrong. Jess, and yeah, you're right, uh, Mike. See, so, yeah, we've met everybody now. Okay, there's clearly someone watching us. Oh, it's gonna be like uh, Mike. Someone or something. Yo, yo, yo. Nice. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Man, Mike's type, or Chris's type person would say a bomb.com. Hey. Yo, it's the bomb.com, yeah, right. man. I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? I, I feel like he's just gonna, like, snap at some point. He clearly doesn't seem over them. I mean, I don't think he's going to get over it. Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Josh has like weird... Nicknames. He says things like Cochise and Chief, and he also says porn stars too many times. It doesn't fit in. I like so, trying to trying to front for your girl. Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, Ooh. that does sound pretty nice. Ooh. Okay. So we're. Uh... Remember to talk a little louder, dear, because the mic's over here. Yes, I am. Okay. Ashley's looking pretty hot today, right? Oh, God. Yeah. 
She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Mm-hmm. I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, oh, right? Snow angels. Yeah, be like porn stars. Uh, Shut the fuck up, Chris. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> man, she practically spends her entire life... Because they're roommates, days. right? Yeah, but we said? Like friends. I think so, yeah. Listen, dude, look around. Maybe? Look at these beautiful they said girls. that they're roommates. Any parents. I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities for you and Ashley alone at last? You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I mean, yeah. You're right. You gonna take her to the bone zone, Alex? Nope. I'm gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> the bone She's gonna know what hit her. Chris is hitting that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wanna keep going this way. So right? I guess. Breaking into my parents' lodge, but I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver a coach these or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cold buns. I mean, if they're really cold, though, then they'll want to warm up. Yeah, but they're already, like, cold enough that they want to warm up. I don't think they want to get more cold. Hmm. There's no axe in there. No, there should be. Mm. That's a clue. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. I just didn't turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. That's so weird. Yeah, the control thing. Shifting the controller to the side. Again, we can switch that back to normal controls if you want. No, it's fine. It's okay. just, I've never experienced a game that's done that before, so... Yeah. This is a revolutionary game. Oh, yeah. So, I remember ever thinking that the graphics were, like, way more realistic when I played it the first time. I guess it's just, like, this was, like, the first game I've first played. Time. Oh, first time, absolutely. And this was my first experience with PS4 graphics. But, like... It still looks good, I think. Yeah. This is the first time I saw a game... Where I was able to, um, ooh, that exploded. Yeah, like I could recognize the actors without knowing who they were ahead of time. Like I didn't know Brett Dalton was in this game, but I was like, "That's Brett Dalton." Use this. That looks like Hayden Panettiere. Oh, look, it's Mr. Robot. Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah. Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's it has a stick of deodorant? It's spray it's deodorant. On. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the Lori dudes. Yep. One That's how we got into our uh, mailbox. Yeah. Except I didn't spray it. I just put the lighter up to it because it was a really tiny lock. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. That's insane. He's a dumbass. <laughs> Fuck Josh. <laughs> He's such like a doofy. Going through a tough time. Huh? He's like a doofy idiot though. It's been a year. Like get over it. His <laughs> sister is killed. Um, missing. He doesn't know they're dead. Oh, they're hey, dead, a rock or something, or a totem. Or something. Uh-oh. Or a totem. <laughs> the lost totem. Is that the same as death? No, you could lose something. Oh. Doesn't necessarily imply somebody. Okay, can we not? Oh man. <laughs> it's gonna get worse from here on out, dude. Scarecrow to appear in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the door? Spiders. Is this the door that I want? The, uh, the no, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I wouldn't even be down for that. I don't have the same irrational fear of spiders. I can't wait till it gets dark. Uh, that's cool. Oh, the family portrait. So, so what's all this shit? Oh, okay. Lock it. Oh, some shit. 
and the mystery man. I'm assuming that's that weird guy that was kind of like... The guy who was like by Hannah and Beth and was like reaching yeah. down or whatever? Yeah. Could be. I'm going to assume so. I mean, he is a mystery, Alex. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to check, check the last one out. I'll go back to that other page for a second. These are all the decisions. Oh, and it kind of... Yeah. Sam looked at Chris's incoming message, and then the effect. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Oh. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion, so Chris criticized Sam for being nosy. Um, and I think that, that actually led to him like going through Jess's letter, because he's like, well, fuck it, if you're going to yeah. do that. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Oh scary. yeah, so I think that what happens there is that like some of the animals will like maybe help you later, whereas they would fuck with you later. Like, for example, the crows that you're supposed to follow. Yeah, yeah. they, they might fuck them. with you if you shot the squirrel because they're like, oh, you're a dick. You hit it. You kill animals. Yeah, and animals like crows are very yeah. like they they recognize faces and stuff. Yeah. So Ashley discouraged Chris and Matt from using the telescope, so Matt didn't see Mike and Emily flirting. Which could be good or bad. Could be good or bad. Like, that could oh. end up really costing him later if he, like, I know. catches them That's cheating and then they, they get away. Or he could, like, later, what if you, like, you know, you're Emily and you're hanging from a thing and Matt decides to let you go because he saw you flirting or something, right? Yeah. Like. So, loss? Potential, potential loss. loss of a friend. Yeah, I guess I think that the difference between death and loss is that death is player character and loss is if another character is with you. Because they'll be, like, paired up and stuff later on, but who you're playing as will be. If you die as a character, you're you are you just swap to another one, I'm assuming. It, it you'll see. It continues the story. Yeah, if you die in the game, you die for real. Oh god, Kyle. Dun 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 a little bit, because it's dark as fuck, dude. The lock's frozen, Alex. Ah, oh, Sam's made it here, though. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? I guess she came when he did. So, never mind. I'm dumb. You have to find one of the bathrooms, remember? Oh, for the... For the deodorant. Okay, are you hearing things? Because I'm hearing things. A little bit, Alex. Oh... This is the wrong kind of game for me to play. The wrong what? Kind of game. Something just broke, I heard. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> and we're playing with the lights off here, so like it's really... Yep, we are playing with the lights off, and that's going to continue. <laughs> no, we're not putting the light on. No, we're not. Oh, we're not. Kyle, Alex. I'm scared of the dark in real life. You put the glare on the... Yeah, you got the TV, we're fine. No! We'll leave that le le oven lamp on so you can, like, sort of see. Right, you better start memorizing the layout of this place. That could be very important later on. What? <laughs> I don't messing know, with her is... with me or, like... Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> messing with you is great. Please don't. <laughs> also, you need to be careful, too. There's certain rooms where those spiders are literally cross across the street. Actually? Yes. Actually? Yeah. I don't know if you're just fucking with me, but it's really scaring me. Yeah, don't mess with her when it comes to spiders. That's no, like, that's like the one of so weird. Like, I will murder you and hide your body because I can't deal with that. That's how bad that is. Oh. Does it actually happen? I see you. <laughs> Can or cannot, I think, but... But they're video games from three years ago, so they're probably not too realistic. Yeah. No, not realistic at all. They only have like three legs. Instead of eight. I, I could deal with like a three legged oh, spider, I think. You could deal with a three legged spider? So if I got a spider, I could take five of its legs off. No, no, I don't think I could. <laughs> Change my mind on that one. Prom night one. photo Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily. Get ready for senior prom! I guess Beth didn't get to go? The fuck? You are terrible at finding bathrooms in the dark. Can we just? I'm just going around. 
Is there something through here? Is she any... best too young? Is there anything through here? Isn't she, her and Hannah are twins? Are they twins? I think so. They don't look alike. No, it's because one of them has longer hair and one doesn't wear glasses. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me. That's not sketchy at all. End of messages. Okay. Why can't I light things on fire? <laughs> oh, come on, I've seen so many candles. So does this room not go anywhere else? Like, Chris isn't a very smart guy. Yeah. He's kind of a dumbass. Kind of gathered that much. But his heart's okay, in the right so place. I've already been over here. Sorry, sometimes it's hard for me to walk in this. Yeah. Oh, no. Upstairs. Upstairs? Let me just, yeah, save you a little time. Thank you. So I'm pretty sure you found everything there was to find down here. Or is it leading you into something else? Don't fuck with me like that, Kyle. Wouldn't dream of it, dear. Oh, lamps. Totally, I could light them on fire. Oh, no, that's what a light. That's damage. property damage. Jeez. I just want to turn all the lights on. In a man. cabin, everything could burn with all the wood. Just turn all the lights on. Why yeah. am I not doing this? So the power's out. Why is the power out? Because they don't. They're not there very often. They just turn the breaker on when you're in the basement. I was down there. Chris doesn't know his way around, it work. and Josh had to go do something. He's making this unnecessarily spooky. Also, can I close those? No. Get warm by the fire later. I like the fire though. I think it's actually through there. Ooh. This feels right. I'm trying to remember. I think you're right. I guess you're here. Turn the, uh, the the sound down a little. It's a little too much for me. You take one ear off and probably help. Yeah, actually. I'm actually pretty sure if you turn it down, it might. I don't know. Normally, when I do it, it'll turn it down on the recording. I don't know if your mic or your headset will do it since we're using a splitter now. Oh yeah, when you don't move, that just happens. Oh. Oh. The music's getting a little scarier now. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Uh, I forgot about that one. Uh, <laughs> you just need me in the chest. Perfect. Now this is, what was that? A Lord. Badger? Yeah. Don't give a shit! <laughs> but now it's just hanging out in the house, like, come on. Aw, oh, it went out the door. <laughs> Idiot puts his hand on the door. Okay, there. Well, now we got out. <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Yeah, it was a tiger. Cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be the baby Wolverine, sir? Yeah, Bob. Picturing a tiny Hugh Jackman running around. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hey. Hey. Hey, hey man. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Oh my god, that is so gross. Emily, don't Are be a cunt. Trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I'm seriously. They're, they're literally just cuddling. 
No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds Jeez. Like someone's been Jealous. Didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. That's real deep calling this home. You've just switched to Matt, that's what that means. Yep. Whose side are you going to take, Alex? I mean, come on. Okay, really... so I don't know... Don't influence her. No, no, but I don't know what that means. So if I say that's a call for Jess, that means... You're taking Emily's side. You're taking Emily's side. Or if you say it. chill out, Emily. They're both call, like, calling oh, to okay. the sluts and hoes. Okay. Come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toy? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are Jesus! You, you think that's insulting? That's Girls are mean. Or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah. All right. Want to go do that? Any nope. place without that whore? It, it's right up the trail. We all are gonna die. Or do it. Or both. Probably both. Oh, that's over. No. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag. The the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, do I... you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you must have I mean, you're not the ones carrying them, so... Come on, huh? That would actually make it more his fault, though. That we can get warm. We can get very warm. Aww! Mm -hmm. Just, okay, like... It's so cute. Wait till you get to play as her. She kind of comes around a bit. I hope so. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Yeah. We super need to call this episode here, though, when we get a second. Say it's gone. We're 40 minutes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sex -eye. That means they're gonna do it! Uh, yeah. How far is this cabin, anyway? This I'm not in the woods. Is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes on. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! <laughs> Stop! No. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Mm. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> that, that's you. Okay, let's call the episode here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. Next time, we'll go to the cabin and take uh, Jess to Bone Town. Woo! To Pound Town, the Bone, bone Zone. Bone Zone. I like Bone Zone. Yeah, I like Bone Zone, too. See you guys then.